the 70s during the day and then last night it got down to about 38 and they turned the heat on this morning and it is not working and carrier 48 GS hope the heat exchange is not cracked in this thing anyway we put a system in on the upstairs over there and now we got this one so the thermostat's in a call for heat the draft motor is running so let's see why it's not firing it off is it a limit sensor ignition I don't know so I'm not seeing any lights on this board that's kind of a bummer oh there it is way down there on the bottom behind that wire One, two, three, four, five, six, six flashes. So what is a six flash? We got Spanish and we got English. Six flashes. Pressure switch fault. Plugged up, meaning the wires are plugged on there. There are our hose connected, and the motor is running. So let me disconnect the call for W. So, this thing I want to do is look in here and make sure all my blades were on that wheel. I felt like I had some air blowing out of it. These carrier package units. Uh, you can see the wheel back there. And it does appear that all the blades are on the wheel. It's Got some signs of some light rust on it, but I don't think anything that's going to cause this problem. I need to check this heat exchanger. I'm going to try to fire it back off one time first. And then we will check the heat exchanger on it. So we get a big hole in the heat exchanger. I mean, it's this late. Here we are at the end of March. For a heat exchanger to bust that big but at this point in time would be a bummer but anyway let's jump it out probably gonna do the same thing but it just you know, I just like to start them over again see what happens light is solid like this still solid Let's see if it fires off take a little while it may try to run a little bit before it finally goes into that code let's see what kind of vacuum I'm getting on my hose port down there all right so got my manometer hooked up and I put a little T on there so I can check in line as it's running you can have a clogged port back there with just a tiny hole in it maybe not enough to close the switch because it has an open air release on it for when it shuts off so you could hook a manometer straight to that even if it's plugged up and read something but if you check it while it's in line with the switch 
you'll get it more accurately so that's what I do so let's see what happens So now we're going to turn this thing on. I'm going to hook up straight to it and see what we get. Let me clean this real quick. Alright, so we're gonna stick this little brush back in there. It was a little crusty in there. Should be hitting that. So I need a smaller one. I've got a, an unopened pack. A little smaller brush than that. This is the one I have with me now. I think this is the second to the smallest size. So you could run thermostat wire in there if you wanted to. All right, now let's turn it back on and see what happens. All right, so we'll hook back up. Let's turn this thing on now and see what happens. There you go. We're still going to pop the side of this thing off and check this heat exchanger real quick. I just, it's a package unit, especially this model, this age. What year is this thing? I can get around there, but. These things at about that eight, nine, ten year mark and older. These package units. This is a 2009. So, or, or is it? That might not be the serial number for the unit. Now, that's for those manifold part. This is a. Yeah, it is. Fifty oh nine. Fifty oh nine. Two thousand nine. So. Either we're going to find a cracked heat exchanger in this thing, possibly, or it's already been replaced. Let's find out. So on these, I try to go in both ways. You can get these doors open. It's hard through the blower compartment to see both sides of the heat exchanger. Unless you reach in there and feel around. But as you can see, you don't see anything there. Now you notice I have the blower door off. That's because while I had this off, I felt around the other side. Typically these heat exchangers, when they go, let me get you a better angle. It's gonna be right in these little, these little impressions right there, the little divots in them. Kind of like right there. You can see that. These little places, that's typically where they'll rust through and crack. But, didn't see anything on this side. But, if we go around here and go through the blower compartment, kind of a tight fit, voila, you got a hole in the heat exchanger. And this side catches that cold air when it's running and cooling, so you'll get some condensation on these things and they'll rust and they'll pop sometimes. Especially this 48 GS. These things are notorious. So you run into one of these things and it's if it's over eight or nine years old, you better be popping everything open and checking the heat exchanger. Or you're gonna leave the homeowner in bad shape. So to sum it up, we had a dirty pressure switch hose port. 
and uh, now we got a cracked heat exchanger so we've replaced that one so now we're probably going to end up replacing this one I have to check the warranty on that heat exchanger see if it had a 10 or a 20 it may have a 20 on it we'll give him whatever options we can give him and let him make his decision that's all you can do all right guys appreciate you watching like subscribe and uh we'll see you next time around